Hey guys, it's Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. So what are we here to do today? Movie review slash Blu-ray review, Seven Warriors. This film was released in 1989 and it is a remake of Akira Kurosawa's classic 1954, Seven Samurai. So um, this was in the box that Charles sent me. If you saw that huge unboxing of like 55 Hong Kong movies, I got VCDs, I got DVDs, I got Blu-rays. This was in that box and I had never heard of this film before. So I went into it blind. Um, there is nothing on here except for I think maybe there's a trailer. Um, but that's it. So uh, it's it's a pretty bare bones release. This is the uh, May uh, CN Entertainment, just like standard kind of Hong Kong Blu-ray release. There you go. Um, as to whether or not this is an upscale, my guess would be probably. I don't think this is a very high profile film. I can't imagine they would have gone back and scanned a film print. It doesn't say on here that it's a remaster. I know that you know, like with Comrades, almost a love story. For instance, I have the Hong Kong Blu-ray of that, and it says like in big letters on the back, remaster. And so. I, I don't know like it looked good I watched it on a 59 inch TV and it looked good but it, it didn't look it wasn't like revelatory like oh this is like this incredible 4k like you know I recently reviewed the uh this release it didn't look like that like it's not something that someone like went back and remastered and scanned and put a bunch of time into so it's probably an upscale I don't really know to be honest with you um, I, I don't really know the hallmarks of an upscale when I'm watching something so it's sometimes hard for me like if it's a well done upscale it can sometimes be a little hard for me to tell because I'm not a huge like audiophile visual file kind of person I'm more into like just watching movies because I love movies um and so but it looked good to me uh so so there you go so to tell you who's in this film um it's got Xing Fui On, Ben Lam, Max Mock, Wu Ma, Jackie Chung, Adam Chang, Tony Long which is Tony Long Chi Wai which is you know he's in all the Wong Kar Wai films and all that stuff so you'll know who he is and this is directed by Terry Tong so it says right here, let me read this to you, because I read this when I did my unboxing and I was very misled. Legendary actor, stuntman, fight choreographer, and pioneer of Hong Kong's new wave movement, Akira, oh, excuse me, Samuel Hung directs a rousing retelling of Akira Kura's Seven Samurai. Samuel Hung has a cameo in this film. He did not direct it. He did not produce it. He did not do the action choreography. He did not write it. He's in one fight scene. So just to get that out of the way and so you know. This movie, if you know Seven Samurai, so I'm a huge Kurosawa fan. I could talk to you about Seven Samurai until the end of time. I'm going to try to keep this video relatively short. This is 94 minutes. Seven Samurai is, I think, like three and a half hours, three hours and 20 minutes. Seven Samurai is this massive epic film about kind of like the death of chivalry and like the introduction of mechanized warfare and, uh, you know, the death of kind of the idea of soldiers having to make life or death choices in moments that might... Uh, provoke their humanity and my you know it's like really a film about warfare and about modern warfare versus old warfare and about trained soldiers versus people just given guns and let loose and told what to do and obviously looking at japan's experiences in world war ii but also you know kurosawa being he was from a samurai family and he was really fascinated with the samurai did lots of research on them and stuff like that and like that code of honor was something that was very important to him and i think that he felt that that had died um in the era that you know like the meiji era and the lead up to world war ii in japan and that the death of that code of honor was something that helped japan get into that horrible situation and become that like horrible imperialistic predatory nation that it was during the war era right and so it's it is an it is a film with a lot of action in it, a lot of fighting in it a lot of like sword fighting martial arts and stuff like that but it's a character study and it's a historical epic about all of these themes this film does transpose the historical circumstances so that it's set in 1920s China. And it is really interesting, and that was a period of, of great turmoil in China, Chinese history. And it, it the, the some of the stuff that they do historically is pretty interesting. Some of the character work is pretty interesting. However, I would say that that's largely due to the actors. The cast in this movie is fantastic. And they bring a lot of humor and humanity to their characters. The movie is really just an action movie. Um, it's got like some character moments, some character development, like some drama in it, some romance, friendship and stuff like that. And one of the things that it does really well that I think is really interesting is that a lot of the, 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 the band of guys who are brought together to fight are, are former um, like brothers in arms from, I guess, from the military. Right. And so 
there is this sense of like, here are these people who were trained to fight, whose entire life revolved around camaraderie and fighting and defending what they believed in and fighting for what they thought was right. And then that gets taken away from them and they're put into civilian life. And what do they even do? And like one of them's an alcoholic and one of them has this crappy job that he hates. And like they, they can't find any direction and their life has no meaning. And then this chance arises for them to fight once more for something they believe in. And it becomes like this sense of pride and glory and like, we can do it again. Like we can, we can fulfill our purpose. And that's, it's really interesting to see that uh, the approach to that aspect of it. Um, the Tony Lung character is really interesting because he's not a warrior at all. I think he's kind of like the Mifune character in seven samurai where he's a guy with a big sword, but he's not really a trained samurai and he means well. And like, he's kind of naive, um, but he's very kind. And like, you see it's, the, it's, he's a slightly different character than the Mifune character, but you can tell that they would have directly adapted him from the Mifune character. So that was pretty interesting. Um, if you like, like, there's a lot of shooting in this movie and there's a, like, especially the end, like the last 40 minutes or so shooting, stabbing, kicking, fighting, martial arts, sword fights, horseback fights. Like if you're a big action junkie and you like, like the John Woo movies with like the, you know, the nonstop shooting, the machine guns, the rifles, the pistols. And if you like, like, like martial arts films from that era this is 1989 it kind of reminds me more of a 90s film than an 80s film um in its style of fighting like once upon a time in china i would think of and like not that it's like obviously jet Li's not in this movie it's not that good but it has that kind of there's like some wire work and that kind of style of fighting less like the jackie chan and less like the old school kung fu type of fighting um but it does do it like it does a commendable job of combining a, like a kind of more old style martial arts film with like a more modern shoot 'em up type of film. And there is I cannot emphasize enough. There is a lot of shooting in this movie. There is a lot of blood. There's a lot of dying. There's people getting smashed over the head with mallets. Like it's not a super violent movie up until the, the climax. And then it's like, holy shit, like it gets really violent. Um, and it's not like, you know. It's not like one of those movies where there's like a river of blood flowing, you know what I mean? But it does get like, you know, there's someone's head gets smashed open and the blood is like pouring down their face and stuff like that. It's kind of gruesome. So, um, so it like, it's, it really is an action movie. If you're a fan of like action war films and if you like like a little bit of martial arts mixed in with that, but you really like like the shooting and you like like seeing these great actors playing these characters. And it's like, like I didn't dislike this movie at all. I found it to be really entertaining. It was a fun watch. It was quick. It was 90 minutes. There were a couple scenes where I was like, holy shit, because like all of a sudden like there's a scene where this guy who's been like kind of calm throughout the whole movie stabs someone like 30 times and you're like what the fuck's going on so uh yeah it's entertaining it's not seven samurai like mm, they bit off more than they could chew but again they're not trying to make this stirring historical epic about all these incredible themes they're just trying to make an action movie and they did that and they have the brand recognition of seven samurai so more power to them i guess my name is will it's hong kong cinema appreciation society and that's my kind of quick and down and dirty review of uh, Seven Warriors. Again, this was in the box that Charles sent me, so huge shout out to Charles. I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, and my name is Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I keep saying the same stuff over and over again, but thank you for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>